What's going on Spartans? Welcome back and it's been a while since I posted a Boom Beach video but a lot of people have been asking for it so I figured this Christmas holiday while we have everybody out of school we might as well post a few Boom Beach videos and have some fun. This is a Dr. Terror episode and I did attack it with a new grenade guy troop and he is pretty awesome but he's also pretty uh, sketchy too. Uh, you'll see why in a little bit here. Just collect all my resources and returning to building another guardian. Now you can see I got them all built up. We got three per carrier. And uh, we got to upgrade something here, guys. We got to upgrade something. Let's do a machine gun to level 14. And just continue to upgrade my base pretty slowly. Not playing a ton anymore. Uh, I kind of got bored when they kind of messed up the Dr. Terror originally. But things are going well and I'm, I'm growing slowly in it. I'm having fun. I'm level 47. Going to go for level 50 real soon, which is, as you guys know, very high level in the game. So let's start out. We'll drop all our guys in the right here. And we're going to start dropping our mortars and our barrages down. Now, we're going to use these mortars just to destroy some buildings because they're not going to be threats. I want to actually be able to show what these guys do to the town hall. Or HQ, excuse me. Wow, HQ. Ugh. It's been three seconds. I already called it a town hall. Messed up, guys. Anyway. So, these guys are just launching these grenades, and they're super random. Like, look at this. That cliff wall got more damage to it than that building did. Like, those boxes barely get hit. And look at this. Just random. Things are flying everywhere. Super funny to watch, though, because they do throw things, like, in every which direction. Like, they have no sense of aim. It's honestly like a barrage on crack. Like, this thing, they shoot. <laughs> they throw these grenades that do a ton of damage, but they literally fly everywhere. Look how far they throw these things, though. Their range is outrageous. I love it, but it's also really, really annoying. So we're going to drop the barrage on this and end off with some heavy, heavy missile fire on that HQ. Gotta love it, though. Having fun. Let's move on and show a few more attacks, see how far we can get. And I'm not going to show you how far I really do get because, God, that would take forever. I'll show you some high-level gameplay with these guys later on. I'll probably do another video with them. If you want to see that, go ahead and comment below. If you want to see me use my normal hookah strategy or anything else, let me know about that too. I'm definitely down for this Christmas season. Do whatever you guys want to see. And here we go. Look at that. Just throwing them everywhere. Absolutely everywhere though. I mean, that building, wow. They seriously couldn't hit you if you stood in front of them. That's the best part. Like, you could literally stand in front of these guys and shoot them. And they would just, like, throw them over your head. They wouldn't even care. But we got to rid of this shock launcher. Because if not, they will mess those guys up pretty badly. And there we go. No more threats to them. Let them just walk their slow butts up the right side of this base and absolutely destroy. The good thing, though, is that if you do catch a base that is all the buildings right next to each other, these guys do a ton. And I mean a ton of damage, guys, because they are like barrages in the way that they do area damage because they do hit such a large area that they do destroy a lot of buildings they don't even aim for. So be aiming for one building, and then they'll destroy like 12 other buildings on accident if they're all crowded together. So you want to use these guys if you're attacking like player bases where all the buildings are close together, or if there's a lot of bombs. If there's a lot of like mines and stuff like that, guys, definitely use them because they will throw these all over the place, and the grenades will blow all the bombs up. So that is really, really good. I, when I keep saying bombs, and I mean mines, guys. Like everything. Oh, boy. So that was actually pretty insane. I can't believe how much damage we did with that single barrage there. But that was pretty cool. And looks like we're going to destroy it any minute now. Here it goes. Boom. There goes the HQ. And definitely another easy win, guys. So one more or two more raids and we will be done. Got to go ahead and clear some more beaches. And I will definitely, uh, maybe I'll start doing a Dr. Terror Tuesday or something like that. Or Wednesday or something like that. Whenever it comes out, I'll probably upload a video on it. Just because I do want to get back into th showing some other games, I stopped for a little bit just because I wanted to push a lot of Clash of Clans out. But now I got a little bit of time before I start a new job to, uh, I I'm working right now, but I'm it's not a serious job, so I have a little more time than I'm used to. Anyway, back to this raid. Now here's what I was talking about. When buildings are really crowded together like this, this is where these guys thrive. Watch how much damage they do to all these buildings. Like just randomly throwing these grenades. They just start wrecking everything. I mean... Literally not aiming for half of those buildings, but yet destroyed them. So that is where they really thrive. And a single heal spell or a, wow, I, I keep saying medic kit. <laughs> I keep playing Clash of Clans terms. Anyway, single medic kit will go ahead and keep them alive because they do have a decent amount of health. Uh, obviously, you don't want them getting hit by a boom mine because like one or two hits from that will take them out without a problem. 
Actually, I think it's one hit. One hit will take him out, yeah. So, you want to keep him protected, obviously, guys. Don't be stupid. Shock bombs and, of course, medic kits are always, always good things to use. Hoping these guys can clear this base quickly, though. Any second, they should be able to get rid of the rest of these defenses. And they are pretty terrible at aiming, as you can see. But they are doing a lot of damage when they do hit. So that's kind of the cool thing is that these grenades do do a lot of damage. They just got to hit a building. So I heard that if you move them closer to the building, that you can do like a better... It's better at aiming if you're closer to the buildings. Now, I think that kind of defeats the point because... Then they have to be close enough to get shot. So, I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, that's probably why they did it that way. But we will go ahead and do an episode where I try and get these guys as close as possible to HQ. And see if they hit, like, every single grenade on it. If so, then that will be kind of a cool thing to learn. But right now, I didn't actually move them forward because I learned about it after I made the video. So, just got to teach you guys a little trick. Let me know if you try it out and it works for you in the comments below. And I'll definitely be reading those and commenting back to you as I always do. And there goes that HQ right there. Boom. And got a couple Dark Shards, which is pretty solid. I have been upgrading a lot of my statues, which is cool. Been working on those a lot. And 80,000 gold is pretty solid. Let's move on, though. And I will actually see you guys in the next episode. Stay tuned for all the episodes coming out tomorrow. And I will see you guys then. Peace.